What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss what is HDR10 Plus format um, in your Samsung phones. And we are also going to do some real world test uh, to see you know how much different is it from the standard dynamic range like you know non HDR uh, videos. Um, so let's get started. In order to understand HDR, we have to first understand what is SDR. SDR stands for standard dynamic range and it's, it's um, any video that you shoot from your phone uh, that has no HDR capability. So, you know, it's just a regular video that you record from your phone. And on the other hand, HDR stands for high dynamic range. That has a lot of improvement on your, on your contrast, on your brightness and on your color. So basically, um, if you have HDR compatible phone that um, and if you record a HDR video from your phone, you will see the HDR content that you created from your phone has better brightness, better contrast, and also better colors. Then what about HDR10 Plus? Well, HDR10 Plus is actually the top of the line uh, standard of the HDR uh, range, and it has even better contrast, even better brightness, and even better colors as compared to the HDR10. HDR10 Plus was actually developed by three companies recently, Panasonic, Samsung, and 20th Century Fox, which is uh, actually Disney now. And this is the reason why uh, not many companies have actually, uh, you know, incorporated HDR10 Plus technology in their in their phones. Um, although it's an it's an open source technology, uh, you know, any company can use it uh, in the devices. But only uh, companies like Panasonic or Samsung has, uh, you know, this technology in their devices. And Samsung actually moved with their technology from the S10 series phones onward. So that means S10, S10 Plus, Note 10 and Note 10 Plus and, and the phones that came after those uh, phones have um, HDR10 Plus capability in their phones. Although it's an open source technology and being fairly new, not all companies are actually uh, pro, um, producing HDR10 Plus compatible content also. Currently Netflix doesn't support any HDR10 Plus uh, content, although Amazon Prime does. Let's check out some of the tests that I did on um, HDR10, HDR10 Plus uh, format um, using my S10 Plus phone today. I'm going to play this video. The video that you are seeing on your, on your screen is actually the regular video that I shot with my camera and using non HDR10 Plus format. However, if I uh, play this video, this one was shot using the HDR10 Plus technology and it is like dramatically improvement over the last one. It has like a brighter brightness, darker darkness and also uh, like you know, dynamic range of colors. So that's the difference between uh, using non-HDR and HDR10 Plus uh, technology. Let's check out another video. The video you are seeing currently uh, was shot with non-HDR10 Plus technology. So it has like, you know, fairly normal um, brightness, contrast, colors, nothing special about it. However, if I uh, play the second video, you can see the colors, the brightness, the, uh, the contrast, you know, everything is actually dynamic and, and more dramatic. And this is what I like about HDR10+. I do have another video that I have to, sh that I want to share. This is again a regular video uh, shot using non HDR10 plus technology and the same video which I shot again using the HDR10 plus codec. I don't know if you can uh, notice the difference on your screen but the colors and the, the brightness or the contrast everything is, is amazing about using your uh, HDR10 plus. Let me tell you uh, how you can actually uh, enable this setting in your Samsung phone if you want to, uh, you know, rec start recording using the HDR10 Plus technology. So as I mentioned before, this is uh, actually um, only moving with um, S10 series phones onward. So if you have a recent phone after the S10 series, then only you can um, see this option in your phone. So let's go to camera and I'm going to click on the settings. I'll go to settings and then go to video section here you will see advanced recording options click on that here you will see there's an option called HDR10 plus video if, uh, you just have to click uh, click on that and enable the option and now your phone uh, will be recording in your HDR10 plus videos so go to videos 
and then you can start recording using HDR10 plus another interesting thing that I want to tell you is that if you have this um, super steady feature on you won't see that option of uh, turning on the HDR10 plus so let me show you uh, what I'm trying to say go back to settings I'm gonna turn off the HDR10 plus I'm gonna go back to camera and let's say go to videos um, I have the super steady uh, feature on I'm gonna go back to settings again and click on the advanced recording option you will see that HDR10 plus is turned off and uh, you know I won't be able to turn it on so in order to get this feature now uh, just make sure you have super steady off and there's one more thing that I want to tell you if your recording size like the resolution is actually uh, using like 60 FPS either full HD or even 4k you won't get this uh, option again so let's go to settings again let's go to advanced options you will see that HDR 10 plus is actually off and uh, you will you won't see that option to turn it on so just make sure that your recording size is actually not 60 FPS in order to use the HDR 10 plus and your super steady is also off and once you have enabled the uh, option of HDR 10 plus you don't have to turn it off and turn it on again and again like you know um, depending on your video uh, you can just leave it on always because it's a, it's like a dramatic improvement on your video quality and if you have a feature that uh, takes you know uh, like uh, better quality videos uh, with the same size then why why don't use it right so I'm just gonna uh, keep it on and in case you are wondering like you know what will happen to the video um, you know that you have recorded uh, in HDR 10 plus uh, will you be able to share it with your friends will you be able to view that uh, on your PC uh, let's check it out this is a great feature that is actually provided by your Samsung phone that if you want to share uh, an HDR 10 plus video with a friend uh, maybe on a text message maybe on email or whatsapp you don't have to worry about converting the video you just uh, click the convert button and, and as you can see it just converts the video right there for you on your phone it says video converted and you can pick up a contact you can uh, you know upload it on, on your facebook or something you don't you don't have to worry about converting the video uh, manually again and again and let's check out how actually uh, your hd10 plus video looks on your pc will you be able to play that on your pc or not so let's see how these videos look on your PC. So these are all the videos that I shot on my phone today just as a part of these tests. Um, I'm gonna open the first one which is uh, which was actually I took on the on the regular video on the regular camera with, without the HDR10 plus and you will see that it actually works fine without any issues. So you can see the video is working fine the audio is playing fine also and there's no issue on the video and now I'm gonna play the HDR 10 plus video that I recorded from the phone and you will see that it's actually not gonna play on my device because it's an old laptop it doesn't have the HDR 10 plus codec um, so as you can see it just got stuck there and now it's asking me to buy the HEBC video extension which is for like a dollar from the Microsoft Microsoft App Store and if I don't do that uh, you can see it is not going to play the video however I can still hear the audio but the video is not playing so let's see how we can fix that so in order to fix that problem you uh, either have to buy the HEBC codec from the from Microsoft App Store which is like a dollar or just visit this link which I'm gonna um, paste in my description and this is actually from the Microsoft App Store again and this is called HEVC video extensions from device manufacturer it's basically the same thing however uh, this is actually like a kind of hidden and you won't be able to find that in your App Store I tried searching for this uh, myself but uh, couldn't get, uh, couldn't go to this page so um, and that's why I'm pasting that link in the description so just hit that link and visit this page and as you can see it is free uh, just download it on your PC and you can see that uh, you won't need to pay for that extension anymore and your videos will work fine so uh, just click the get button and install it on your PC and there you go 
you just installed the HEVC video extension video codec on your computer. And again, if your computer is actually compatible, you don't need to pay for that HEVC video extension from Microsoft as you can uh, install this one, which is from Microsoft again. And this is kind of hidden. So this is done. We can we can go back to the videos and uh, just give it a refresh. And let's try to play the video again. And as you can see, the video is working fine. I apologize for some lag onto my PC today because there is some backup going on in the background. So if you see uh, from the first and the second video, there's actually not much of a difference in size. Uh, the first one is like 25.2 MB and the second one is like 22 MB. However, when you play both the videos, you can clearly see the difference in contrast and in, in brightness and in colors. You can see this is like a regular video uh, shot on non hdr format. However, if I play the second video, which is actually the HDR10 plus uh, format, you can see this one is kind of uh, brighter, darker, as well as has good colors. And it is uh, clearly visible on your computer also. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try out another video because the backup has uh, has been completed onto my computer, so it is working fine now. Let's try out this one. Uh, this is actually um, the first video that I created on my uh, on my phone, Samsung S10 Plus, and uh, with a regular video camera without the HDR10 Plus. So as you can see, it is kind of you know normal video, nothing special about it. But if I go to the next video. Uh, you will see that this one is actually uh, like the the bright the brights are a little brighter, the darks are darker, and the the colors are actually sharper. So this is the HDR10 Plus I uh, recorded on the on the phone. So I would say just try out this, uh, you know, the, the, the HDR10 Plus feature on your phone uh, yourself and you will uh, definitely l um, love everything about it. If you're wondering like uh, if we have HDR um, technology, then why even have uh, HDR10 Plus? Uh, well, the reason is simple. HDR technology is a, is a static technology that actually tells your device to use the, the brightness and the, and the darkness rating uh, for the entire movie, which is static, which uh, doesn't change based on your scenes. However, HDR10 Plus is the dynamic technology that changes the uh, value of the brightness and of the contrast of the colors based on uh, based on every scene. So, for example, if the entire movie has a different value of uh, contrast, col colors, or darkness, HDR10 Plus will perform better uh, in all the situations, whereas HDR technology will not perform better. All in all, I do like HDR10 Plus, and it gets my vote. I do recommend everyone to use HDR10 Plus if they have in their devices. All in all, I do give my thumbs up to HDR10 Plus. And this is pretty much it from this video. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you. And if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.